Hello. What we're going to do, we're going to run you through some emulations on the Android here. This is my um, Samsung Galaxy S3 running Android. And what we're going to do, we're going to show you a couple of emulators. What we're going to do, we're going to show you the Commodore 64 first. See, comes up. I'm going to try running a game on it. This is a bit awkward doing it like this. So, you can change from. I'll push that. Gives you a joystick. Little joystick here, fire button there. Um, so, let's try loading up a game. Push that there. Load a disc. Got a few games here. So let's try, I don't know, let's tr try out that paper boy. There we go. There we go. This is how it's loading, just like a Commodore. So we've got our little virtual oh, things flicking up, I'll remember this well. Right, this is going to load up. The camera's going a bit funny here, trying to focus. A bloody focus. No, I think I need the keyboard, so what we'll do. Um, oh, I shouldn't have done that. Alright, go back and push that, push space, then we get our keyboard back. Gonna be quite challenged to play this. It's not like a keyboard where you can just or a virtual joystick. I do have one of these but unfortunately you can't play. I have a little remote control but unfortunately you can't play it. You can only play it with certain games. A bit of a pain. But there you go. It's still loading up. Hope it is anyway. Let's just stop this a minute. I'll show you when it's loaded. There we go. Try having a play with this now, it's going to be a bit difficult. Push punt, oh, here we go. Can't see it. Can't see it. Difficult to see. It's, it's quite difficult with the camera playing, but you know, it works well. I'll stop that. Show you a different emulation. Right, this is a Amstrad emulation, but unfortunately, I just don't know how to get any of the games to work on this thing. We've got our little virtual keypad here and the little joystick area here go up and down and see the thing, just see a highlighted thing there but if we go up no disk image, no disk A one validate I just don't know where I'm go how you get to your games on this it's just no, it won't let you come up with a directory to take you in with the games which is a shame because this looks pretty good Go back. That is the Amstrad thing. Just makes the little noise, but we need the keyboard. We've got a little joystick here, as you see, you see the little arrows coming up. 
uh, I think two acts is a delete key. Uh, unfortunately, we can't get the games to work, which is a shame because I was looking forward to this one. But anyone who knows how to get the games working, let me know. Another one is the Spectrum, but this one's quite a good one. You know, if you turn it up like that, or try get the keyboard. You can't see the screen at the moment, but you can see like you push that it gives you like a keyboard. Uh, we're going to load a game up. In this. No, 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 no. Load. Open file. If you're down here. Yeah, it's got all the. Yeah, but now we've got to find the. Uh, find the. Uh, storage. XD card. No. Oh, for God's sake. There's a thing. Trying to look for all the files now. SD card, emulation, spectrum. So we're going to try Jet Set Willy, I think. There we go. Let's go back to the there we go, keyboard, enter, shift, can't see, oh here we go, can't see the virtual joystick anyway, oh here we go, and here's a little fire button, Get away with that one. Ah. Here we go. difficult playing it like this but it's just a demonstration dead last life I think dead oh well well there you go Another one I think is quite good. It's the BBC, but but I don't have any BBC games on it, so I just thought it's a good emulator. Simulates the keyboard pretty well. Um, go, got nice red function keys as we remember. That's good. I do, that's the end, but I do have an Amiga one, but I haven't got any to sort that one out, because you have to put in the ROM, kick ROMs and all that, so that'll be one that I will show later once I've figured it all out. Well, that's the end of the, this little quick review, just to, if you've got an Android phone, you can play some of your old classic games, or if you want to take it on the go, so using your computer. Well recommended. It's the end. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.